there's a good chance you've been on social media before and somewhere sandwiched between Jojo Siwa and an advertisement for a butt hair removal laser is an insane conspiracy theory or something that says that your favorite celebrity is demonic. You know that when Sam Smith is wearing these like party city devil horns that this isn't real. It's just an aesthetic. Oh yes, excuse me. Oh, where are the yes, vacuums located? The vacuums are located in aisle 14 if you need them. I'm sorry, I'm at the Christian aisle. Well, we, we have an Easter aisle, uh, Easter decorations. Uh, I need the Christian two. vacuum aisle. You may or may not be aware, but one of your vacuums is made by Satanists. We, we don't have a Christian vacuum <laughs> aisle. Excuse me. It says Dirt Devil on it. Yeah, like like the brand, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't understand. I need to expel demons, not suck them. I really wish you could hear yourself right now. Hey guys, and welcome back to Sir. Are you serious? What's that banging outside my window? Maybe it's construction, or maybe it's a ghost. No, it's construction. Shut the- Today I'm gonna to be trying to make sense of TikTok conspiracy theories. So this could be a long video, cause- <laughs> Turn on the flashlight if you're in the room with us. Okay. No! No! I'm coming to get you next. Don't Let that sink in. So the term conspiracy theory comes from conspire and theory. Conspire means to make up. And with that, the trash took itself out. Wait, are you saying that a ghost took the trash out? Does that mean when my mom says that there's no dishwasher fairy? Is she lying? Okay, not really. It's more that Linda and her hubby wanted to make an extra buck off of the TikTok creator fund. Okay, pull the fishing line. And I know this might not be the first thing that you think of when I say conspiracy theory, but in my opinion, ghosts are just one huge conspiracy theory. And there's a whole plethora of people on TikTok trying to monetize their supposedly haunted home. And it makes just incredible riveting content like this. Oh my God, baby. Baby. I just got a really bad feeling right now, baby. Baby. Oh my God, baby. Baby. Baby, stop fucking with me. Baby, hey, give me the phone. Baby, you don't feel phone. right in here right now. All right, here's my question. If you actually believe in that, why are you still living there? Go home. I mean, well, not not go, move to a different home. <laughs> I finally found you. Oh my God, babe, there's a killer in our house. I've oh my God, babe, no, what are we gonna do? And don't even bother trying to call the police because I unplugged the router. Babe, babe, this is bad. Babe. I know, babe. babe what are we gonna bad. do? Babe. My phone's then, full on babe. storage, and so is the iCloud. Hey, excuse me. I'm sorry. And then we're, we're just having some technical difficulties. So if you could come back in like an hour, that'd be good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, 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 no worries. I get that. All right. One of my favorite, favorite things about conspiracy theories is that it's oftentimes the conspirer who least believes in the theory. That is so ironic. <laughs> now, I can't sit here and list every fake guru, scam artist across all of history. We would actually be here. Hey, you, it's time to wake up. Wake up. There are people simply walking around out here that are soulless and mindless avatars that are simply operating on matrix programming. They're living, but they're not alive. So this is the queen of everything. This is the queen of everything. So she's gonna take the mic. Hey, queen of everything, you wanna? Since you're since you're the queen of everything. Clouds are falling from the sky. And you ask, why? How is that possible? Well, like everything else in this matrix, they are made and controlled. Wake up. She was featured in Jarvis Johnson's videos about conspiracy theories, and I would love to feature her too, but guess what? Her account got banned, and I wonder why. She made a new account, but her new lies just don't hit like her old ones. Ooh. You know what does hit though? 
the Holy Spirit. God will hit you up and tell you that you need to get off your f and get some exercise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, put down that gym bag. We're not going to Planet Fitness. We're going to where demons exercise. Blasphemy, you can run faster than that. Come on, dysphoria, keep on going. Come on, Antichrist, let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, girls. How are you gonna run from a bear if they're gonna attack you in hell? But uh, the only thing that you need to exercise if you believe in these theories is your brain. What are you doing to her life? In the mighty name of Jesus. There, there, there's an actual woman just standing here, clearly having a meltdown. Imagine you went to a psychiatric hospital. You witchcraft spirit, bind your feet, let go of her, and do the Macarena. Sorry, Chelsea, what's that? Buy one, get one 50% off at Abercrombie for green canvas jackets? How much was she paid? Because losing this much dignity in the span of legitimately 30 seconds. Hey Chelsea, how did the acting go today? It went so good, I nearly bit off the pastor's finger. That That's great, honey, why, why would you do that? Well, you see, it was for a bit. <laughs> Get it, a bit. <laughs> like girl, what the f are you doing? She might be high, but she is not high on the Holy Spirit. She is high on student debt for acting classes. And now, thank God, we, we do have another video in the archives to prove that this is real. Release. Release it right now. You gotta roll around on the floor to get the bowels moving, honey. God, I need a Miralax right now. This is a form of gaslighting. Except, in his case, there's no air and there's certainly no light. Look at this girl in the high heels. She's practically blocking out the sun. This is the solar eclipse. Something weird is going on with CERN and the April 8th eclipse. On this day, as the moon cloaks us in darkness, CERN's Large Hadron Collider, the titan of science, will push boundaries like never before. They're ramping up to test the world's most potent particle accelerator during the eclipse. Why? To hunt for dark matter, the invisible force believed to hold our universe together. So here we are at the biggest conspiracy of all. Apparently they're going to run a particle accelerator called CERN during the solar eclipse. So we're just gonna see what happens. It's total totality, everybody. Totally. What do you think is going to happen when we reach totality? All of our problems are going to go away. Oh my, you're just fixing all the problems. What do you think is going to happen when we reach totality? Well, hopefully we'll be beamed up into the next dimension. They call it the fifth dimension. Mm -hmm. The particle accelerator will help. The particle accelerator will help. You heard it here first. While I may not believe in conspiracy theories, I do believe in the beauty of the cosmos. And I just have to say, this was incredible. Oh. It's, it's like pitch black. <laughs> it's nighttime. Oh my God. Oh wow. <gasps> oh wow. So as the sun came back into view, I just felt the need to shut my big fat ugly mouth and then open it again. That was definitely top five moments in my life so far. Um, but we're still here. And has anything changed? Uh, no, we are still alive. The particle accelerator didn't work. So myth bust. For me, conspiracy theories are just a placeholder for people who turn themselves off to reason. Denial is a river in Egypt, y'all, but they probably don't believe that either. Now, the thing is, I actually do enjoy conspiracy theories as entertainment. Every sci-fi show that we've watched is a conspiracy theory. It's sort of based off things that have happened in society in the past, and it's really fun to play around and talk about these things. But the issue is, is that it seems like these people actually believe in these fairy tales. Dude, what's up? You're not gonna believe this. I think the director of this movie might be a Satanist. What makes what makes you say that? Well, come on, look, it's this movie is 
fucked up. Also, that actress is way too good to be a normal actress. Did you see that? Did you see her eyes? That that means that she's a I lizard think that was person. Just a light reflecting in her eyes. Also, this this is this is a horror movie. A lot of times they are meant to be really disturbing, scary, and oftentimes, yes, satanic. Wait, so it's true. They are Satanists? Dude, relax, relax. This is just a show. It's just entertainment. People watch this for entertainment? Jesus Christ, bathe yourself in the blood of Christ. You know, Christ I just have to yourself. say, this Let has been a terrifying experience. Let Christ come inside of all of you. Hey, look at my phone. Go ahead. What do you got to say now? I mean, I'll wait all day. Give me one second. What do you got to say now? I was too lazy to make coffee, but I found this in my fridge. I don't know who left it here. It's called liquid death. What do you think happens when I drink it? It says rest in peace. I don't know where peace is. I think that's a made up place. Peace is not real. Something that I never understood is that why is it when someone is talented or different in any way, they're automatically possessed? It's strange to me that some people's reaction to someone having any level of talent or putting on any sort of theatric is suddenly possessed by a devil. I think that people come up with these theories because they feel inferior, right? They feel like no matter what they do, they can't succeed. So they see other people succeeding. Ain't no way. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. You did not do that through traditional means. You are a Martian. And I can prove it. And, hold on, hold on. Tell me one reason you're not a Martian. Huh? Huh? Bet you're scared now. I have to be honest, I know who's making this type of content. Incels. There's just no way that a woman is making this type of content. And I know what you're gonna say, Ian, that's sexist. Well, you're a Satanist because these TikToks, they go way too hard. There's no way a normal person made this. Why is nobody talking about this? What's really interesting about that is, how do we never notice that? Guys, I'm losing my shit over this theory. I think I'm gonna need a little break after that one. That, it's just, it's got the gears turning. All right, so glad I got rid of those demons. Whew, I feel relaxed, you know, I feel like, I can finally talk to you guys about- Look closely at this guy's eyes. While he's talking in his YouTube video, his eyes flicker a little bit slightly in the light, you remember, like, and his Nikita neck Dragon is puffing when out, she got arrested, and this and means that like, he is a devil-worshipping lizard person. One of the biggest problems that I have with conspiracy theories is that oftentimes they're trying to explain something that has already been proven. If you aren't a historian or a scientific researcher, do you really think that you're going to be able to come up with a reasonable theory about the world. Do you remember the ancient society of Tartaria? Remember learning about that in history? History class? No? Oh, okay. They, they are, are trying, trying to trick you. As this part of our history is being wiped out right now, and what they're hiding from us is costing all of our lives. Oh no! Older buildings, allegedly like the Pyramid of Giza, had electric coils on them, leading many to believe that before our oldest ancient civilization, people were using actual free energy. And once the oil industry discovered them, those people didn't stay alive for much longer. After the fall of this Tartarian Empire and Tartarian technology, it was believed much of it was sealed away in the Vatican archives for us to never see again. Of course, this has been a long-standing controversial theory, but wouldn't it be crazy? You've been lied to. This isn't real. It's threatening all of our lives. But that's just a long-standing theory. Wouldn't it be crazy? You can't just walk in a room, say something like that, and then just take it back. Oh my goodness. Did you just commit arson? Ma'am, yes, we did have to commit <gasps> your son. Oh, well, that's not really what I was asking about, but is he, is he okay? He's fine, don't worry, but I just want to let you know we did have oh, to commit okay. arson as well. Oh. 
I, is he okay? No, I mean, we we committed our son <gasps> to the psychiatric center and your son is inside. You, that That's not right. You know my baby boy needs his privacy. He needs his own room. We, you can't have both of them in there together like that. But this is just negligence at its finest. Anyway, what's that burning building over there? History is so much different than we've been taught. There was once a civilization that was wiped out because it threatened the profits of the oil industry. The Tartarian Empire was a society where they had discovered ancient knowledge about farming atmospheric energy. They incorporated special coils into all of their architecture, and their entire society was powered for free. This society was far better than what we have today. I really appreciate this video because they're very transparent. The first thing that they said was fake history exposed. Perfect. No one actually believes in this, right? Bring it back. Bring the free energy back. Bring the great civilization that was able to harness energy from the sun and the wind and the earth itself. Bring that back. That, that does sound like something. Oh, I don't know. Green energy that already exists. And that big oil is actually trying to stop every waking day. Yet we have to make it some sort of fairy tale. Like... Dude, who ate all the ice cream? Actually, I just heard about this on TikTok. Many people's ice cream has been disappearing. And what they say is that the skinwalkers were hired by the lizard people who run the government to emerge from King Tut's tomb along with some ghosts to get on Spirit Airlines and take a flight to the freezer and eat your ice cream. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I can literally see the empty uh, uh, right That's in. what they want you to think. All right, well, here's a conspiracy. You're talking to yourself. This is creativity and it is great. It's beautiful, right? The people who make up these things are very smart. Why are you putting these smarts towards tricking other people? Every single one of these theories has such incredible pitfalls to the point where if you open it up to an actual scientific debate at any point in time, it completely just falls through. It's really tiring to see how people are reverting to believing in conspiracy theories rather than educating themselves about what what's actually going on in the world. As things become less and less stable, I think that people want some sort of security or reason for things. If you go far enough down this rabbit hole, suddenly you're met with this whirlpool of contrasting and estranged beliefs. And it really does make me think, are we not able to see the magic in this world that's all around us? Air, water, fire, these are all magic. We live in a world of magic. Magic is all around us. It's like we constantly have to make something up. Before I'm, my head explodes because I'm so tired of this shit, I, I think we just, we gotta end it there. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you staying till the end and uh, take care of yourself.